<laughs> All right. Uh, good morning. Can I welcome you to the 10th and the last meeting in 2016 of the Justice Committee? Save your tears for later. You've still got work to do. Can I ask everyone to switch off mobile phones and other electronic devices? I have apologies from Margaret McDougall and Gil Patterson. Item 1, the decision on taking business in private. I'm asking you to consider items 5, 6 and 7 in private. Item 5 is consideration of the Committee's Draft Report on Family Law Scotland Act 2006. And item 6 and 7 is a consideration of the Committee and Subcommittee Legacy Papers. Are you agreed? Yes. Item 2, it's the first item of business, and it's consideration of correspondence in relation to the Committee EU priorities. The Committee is invited to consider the latest response from the Minister for Community and Safety and Legal Affairs, which is attached in full at Annex 8 of Paper 1. Roddy, as our EU reporter, do you wish to say anything about the response? No, to be honest, uh, Convener, I think it's, it's all self-explanatory. I haven't really got anything to add to it. Any other comments? Right. So, I'd, we just note the response. Correct? I'd, I'd like to know if there's life. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Elaine. You came to my rescue. <laughs> Item 2, Swant Legislation, is consideration of three negative instruments. The first is the Act of Sedan and Fees of Sheriff Officers 2016. This instrument substitutes a new table of fees for the table in Schedule 1 to the Act of Sedan and Fees of Sheriff Officers No. 2, 2002. The new fee levels are 1.3% higher than the existing fees. The DPLR Committee agreed to draw the instrument to the attention of the Parliament because the preamble to the instrument is incorrect. The Lord President's private office has indicated it has requested a correction slip from the statutory instrument registrar. I didn't even know we had such a person, but there you are, to correct these errors. Do members have any comments on the instrument? <clears throat> no. A member is content to make no recommendation in relation to that instrument. The second instrument uh, is the Act of Student Fees of Messengers Arms 2016. This substitutes a new table of fees for the table of fees in Schedule 1 to the Act of Student Fees of Messengers Arms No. 2, 2002. Again, the fee levels, the new table of fees, represents an increase of 1.3% of the existing fees. The DPLR Committee agreed to draw the attention of the Parliament because the preamble to the instrument is, again, incorrect. Again, the Lord President's office, private office has indicated it has requested a correction slip from the statutory instrument registrar to remove these errors. Do members have any comments on the instrument? No. Members content to make no recommendations. Third instrument is the Prisons and Young Offenders Institution of Scotland Amendment Rules 2016. This makes largely technical amendments to clarify points in the prison rules. The prison rules make provision for the regulation and management of prisons and young offenders institutions <coughs> and for various matters concerning detainees in these institutions, such as their classification, treatment, discipline, employment and control. The DPLR committee did not draw the instrument to the attention of the Parliament on any grounds within its remit. Do you have any comments in relation to this instrument? If I could just ask a point of clarification, paragraph 9, page 7, says the definition of purposeful activity detailed in Rule 84.2 is being amended to provide flexibility and a wide discretion over which activities the Governor can provide for prisons. Have we any more details on what that is? I wouldn't like there to be any diminution of work, vocational training and education, which we know are in short supply. No, but you've put it on the record, so I think that's something you may know, because the committee did, as we did in our inquiry, I think it was an inquiry, <coughs> look at what was meant by purposeful activity, and it wasn't just simply ticking boxes, but should really have meaning, so I think that's on the record. Right. Thank, Thank you. you Thank you for John. noting. John, I beg your pardon, John. Thank you, Thank you. I'd like to comment about paragraph 8 and the policy objectives, um, and that relates to Rule 68. Uh, and the appropriate level of authorisation for a police constable to interview a prisoner has been moved from chief constable to chief inspector. I think that's very pragmatic, and I'd just like to comment. I hope that's a, a direction of travel that will continue with other matters that they'll be devolved to appropriate level. Thank you. That's also on the record, MD else. Christian? I would like to, to, to comment particularly on, on the policy objective number five, on that flexibility, and I welcome all that flexibility regarding faith, and I think it was very, very welcome to understand that prisoners will change during their time in incarceration, and I really welcome that, uh, that amendment. Any other comments? Thank you very much. Um, are members content to make no recommendations in relation to this instrument? Next item of business, item four, is consideration of the committee's draft annual report, which is intended to be largely factual and statistical account of our work over the past year. I intend to go through it page by page. I know. 
uh, if you have any comment to make, please tell me which paragraph on the page it relates to, what change you would like to make. I hope we can agree this report this meeting, but if needed, clerks will capture any comments. I love that word, capture. I feel like a net. Um, and forward a revised draft to members by close of play today. And I'm going to go through page by page, not paragraph by paragraph. But if you want me to stop, you just look at me nicely and I'll stop and we'll go over it. So I'm on to page... Um, Page two, page three. John. Paragraph 10, the last line after the word union, should it not have in brackets FBU? Close brackets. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So you're just putting that in to explain why we've got FBU yeah. later. Yes, okay. Strictly speaking, it should be FBU Scotland as well rather than FBU. Okay. Yes, FBU one. Scotland. Yeah. That's it. Thank you very much. Next page, which is page four. Christian. On 12, at the end of 12, uh, it talks about the inability of single police and fire service to recover VAT. Can we make it made it clear if that it was uh, from the UK government? Well, that is reserved. I don't think we need to do that to recover. <laughs> I'm either here or there about it, but what do you want to do? Well, it's not from, from the UK government. Mm -hmm. Is that right? What do you mean, is that right? Well, it's customs and excise. I mean, yeah. it's just. Well, the correspondence. Uh, bear with me a minute. The correspondence we've had has been with the, the UK government with regard to the recovery but, of that. Yeah, but they obviously it's just UK government legislation. Yeah. So customs and excise is part of the UK government. So it's the inability of the single police and fire service to recover that from the UK government. Can we put that in? No, I don't like it. it. Right, I want to stop. We just to yeah. recover that. Period. Period. Yeah. period. I'm not having. I'm not having a firefight. Now you see why this is not worthwhile in public because we have all these discussions about a comma. We are in public. Page so. Page five. You're still on page four. I'm what are you on now? I, I found it strange that on 13 and women offenders, we didn't mm -hmm. speak about plumbing at all. That part of the... We didn't know about plumbing. We didn't know as a plumbing. It wasn't told about plumbing. No, we weren't. They were told it was during... two days later. After Could you day. speak through the chair, just not have a little conversation with Sorry, each other, convenient. please? Sorry, convener. Um, we weren't told. Me. It was an announcement after the Cabinet Secretary came before the yeah. committee. So that is accurate. Legacy report, the, this must be what the committee has dealt with, not extraneous matter. You're looking at me no, in I, a physical I, I, fashion. I, I find it strange that this committee heard about it, so therefore it should be in the annual report. But I, well, we didn't actually hear it. This committee heard about it? No, no. No, okay. no Christian, the announcement came out came out after the cabinet secretary had been before the committee in fact a day or two later if i recall but it wasn't to the committee cabinet secretary di didn't talk about plumbing to the no, no to, to the no. committee afterwards no in this session no 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 right i should have come more prepared and having some of the transcript because uh, i find it strange but he had not said it thank you you accept what we're saying I accept, but I don't Thank have Thank you very trust much. That's that page gone. Page five. Page six. Page Sixteen. Let me have a look at that. What do you want to do? I don't know. I just uh, the, the second last line where it says independent council in inverted commas. Now that almost looks as if we don't think that the council is independent. Nope. That's fine. Happy to take out the, the inverted commas. Mm -hmm. I think you're right. Anything else? Seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, we didn't say that we gave the... Which uh, line are you on, Christian, please? The third line, uh, Europe's response to the migration crisis. Are we not saying that we delegated that to another committee? We passed that on to another committee? I'm trying to remember that. Yeah, we didn't formally formally ask the European Committee to do it. Um, I think we did. Sorry. 
Maybe you can help me out here, Roddy. You might, I don't know whether you want to just insert the European Committee also looked at migration. Just yeah. slip yeah. that in. Yeah. Right, yeah. we can put that in somewhere. Okay, that's that dealt with. Anything else on page five? Right, we're fine. You're ready. I've just turned over and I can see you're at the ready at the stump six. I just think, um, convener, thank you. In, in relation to the very last sentence in pa paragraph 20, it might be helpful to clarify that that debate took place in the chamber. Yes. Well, it, if it's a debate, it is, but I maybe have to dot the I's and cross the T's here. Okay, anything else? Yeah. That's it concluded. Thank you very much. Now go into private session. Um, I do that. You put your little switch mic on. <laughs> I want to thank you all, actually, because this is the fourth committee I've chaired. Now, I didn't say this, not saying this just to carry favour, because there's no point now. But you've been a terrific committee. I think we've worked really hard. You've had an awful lot of work to do. You've been a delight to chair. Um, and I, I don't want any response to you about what you thought about my chairing. You're, it's, not an open, it's not an open session. But actually that, and I also want to thank our clerks and Spice. I think we've had a really heavy five years. Some of you have been, I can't remember who's been the whole five-year course on this committee. Three, three at least have been on it, so you know what we've had to deal with. And I think uh, we're coming to our legacy paper, but I do think there is an issue for the Justice Committee being overwhelmed with legislation. Uh, and, and we've been deprived of the opportunity quite often to be able to foray out and to do some inquiries. But we'll come to that later. Thank you all very much. That's on the record now. And before you see anything unkind about me, we're in <laughs> private session.